Hi. How are you? What are you doing here? I missed you. Subscribe to the channel. Stay Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I did miss you guys. And, and it hurts my feelings that you didn't notice I was gone yesterday. Yeah, I was I was gone yesterday. I went on a dirt road. Oh, there we go. On the paper road. I just dropped my daughter off to babysit a Great Dane for the day. It's bigger than she is not on its hind legs. Like, it can look over her head standing up. It's a Great Dane. But it has anxiety issues and can't be left alone and its mommy needs to go somewhere. So Victoria has agreed to watch the dog for the day. I have to go to the casino, which is a short 14 hour walk. <laughs> and you're like 14, oh, walk. Yeah. It's only a 45 minute drive. Luckily I have a car. Glad I have a car because I wouldn't want to walk it. I'm going up to the casino to get a gift certificate for my aunt-in-law. Yeah, just call her my aunt. She's my husband's aunt, but it's just Aunt Judy. She's having an 80th and a half birthday because her 80th was during COVID. And I'm getting her gift certificate to the casino whether she wants it or not. She, she likes the casino, she didn't want any gifts. But, Unfortunately, our casino will not sell you a gift certificate over the phone or online. I have to drive up there. I live close enough. And it gives me an opportunity to hit the thrift stores along the way. for no bloody reason at all. On the other side of it, there was nothing. Why would you take a freeway and just close one lane if you're not even actually working on it? This is why I get upset on the freeway because it's stupid shit like that. I think I actually believed myself. I might have checked that. Let's do some math at eight more miles and 80 miles an hour. How long will it take me to get there? Anyone? Because that's why we all went to school. Not to learn to do our taxes. No. We went to school to learn to calculate stupid stuff. Because who would need to know that? Now I do need to know how to calculate my deductions. But instead, I should work out how long it will take me to get there. Arrived. I remember this one. Cool. Let's go. You guys, look. It's an old-fashioned car hop A&W. Guess where I want to have lunch today. <laughs> Drive around the block because you can't get out on this road. Everybody, It's a four-way stop, so there's like a light letting people through on one end, a four-way stop on the other. Huge sale this way. Okay. We're going this way. Now we're going this way. Screw it. <laughs> we're down the rabbit hole now. <laughs> uh, it totally blew the mind of the sales girl in there. I bought a bag to carry the dog stuff places, you know, like the to pack her little leashes and collars and treats and all that stuff. So I bought, they had this cute little bag that I'm like, that would be perfect for the dog, right? Then I bought some clothes because some of you have been asking me to do a craft that I am like, I don't have clothes to craft on. And pink tags were 50% off and I found clothes that were 50% off that I can craft on. So I'm like, done deal, right? Do that. And then I bought some glass stuff and I get up there and she puts the bag in a bag and I went, no, 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 no. Just wrap the glass in a shirt, put it in the bag. What? Wrap the glass things and put them in the bag that I bought. You don't want a bag. No, the bag that I bought. I'm like, I'll do it. 
you just you ring up <laughs> I'll pack and she gives me paper I'm like I don't want the paper I'm gonna use the clothes This would be where the Stephen King novel has the psycho killer roadblock. I'm fine up. I had my hands on something, but I was, no, I put it back. I had a vintage Tupperware colander, which, yeah, I can make a profit on that. There were so many people crawling through there, unvaccinated idiots coughing on each other. And the woman, women running the show they're like their checkout stand is in the corner of the little garage thing where they have tables right up to both sides of it so you, there's like this little narrow corridor to get through there and there's a line because they're just like no you gotta you got a bunch of people here move it lady Toby Toby's get caribou. Who wants caribou? Toby's is known for these ginormous sticky rolls, the caramel rolls. And if you don't stop at Toby's, if you go to Hinkley, everybody's like, did you go to Toby's? No. Did you go to Toby's? Turns out the only place you can buy a gift card is at their gift shop, which just basically sells cigarettes and gum. And it's closed till 11:35, so I have to go somewhere for a half an hour and come back because no one else can sell me a gift card. I'm like, there's no one else. No, I go to the hotel. I'm like, really, you can't sell me a gift card? No, that's efficiency for you. Whole casino, giant casino. There's a spa, there's a hotel, there's one tiny little gift shop, there's an information booth, there's customer service. No one else can generate a gift card for your casino. Online, or by phone, or when I get here. Seriously, you, there's no other location of all these places that you can buy a bloody gift card? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm gonna go to the gift interface. Because I have to. I spent $85. Well, I rounded up to $85. Uh, their vintage game was strong here. Like, not only had they identified all their vintage, but it was pretty well priced. And the woman is so funny because she goes, do you sell vintage? And I'm like, yeah, how'd you guess? And she goes, well, it's just that this seems really expensive for this. <laughs> she goes, so you must know the value of it. I'm like, I do. And it's, it's a good value. And she goes, okay. I'm like, so I take it you're not doing the pricing. And she goes, no. Nice old 66 Mustang Cherry Red. I get for being raised by a car guy. I got the damn gift card! Get this. They manually write everything down. Manually! My God, this place is raking in the big bucks. It's a freaking casino. Tell me they're not making money. And they can't improve their systems? Have more than one person be able to issue a gift card. Then I have to manually write it down all right i made it home and uh, why am i wet what is this i don't know hang on well there was a sl slight interlude while we bathed the dog and now i'm soaking wet 
Gonna have to go wash out her kennel in a little bit too because she evidently peed herself in the kennel. We weren't even gone that long. And you did both before I left. I'm just saying, dog. That was more of a behavior thing. Let's go to the first thrift store first. So the first thing I, I grabbed when I was there was this little number. And it does look like a powder box, but it's not. It's a lady chic caprice box. So it's a razor box. No razor, just the box. But it has those really great turquoise and gold and it's got the advertising on it. It was 450, which is paying up, but it's kind of cool and it's not very heavy. Um, I picked this up. This is the bag I was talking about. And the reason I picked it up is because it looks like a bone, right? But it's called baby elephant ear. So I think it was actually a baby bag for somebody, but it just looks like a dog bone. So I thought it'd be perfect to put all her little bits and bobs when we go to the lake in there. Plenty of little pockets in there to put her leash and her collar and, you know, some snacks. We need snacks. And then I can just you know, grab and go. And that was $5.50. Now they had a sale going. Everything that was pink tagged was half off. And I found these. So they have lovely little violets on it. They're made in occupied Japan. They were 25 cents each pink tag and there was four of them. Uh, I don't know what they belong to, but I do have a demi toss cup that has the little violets on it. And I think that's actually intact, but I'm gonna keep these or maybe look and see if anybody needs them. Cause it's a set of four, you know, and I paid 50 cents for it. Even if I sell it for a buck, I came out ahead. Milk glass. Okay, so I have this one, but the big one. So this is the short one of the big one that I have. And this was $3. And I did not have this one. And this was $3.75. So I don't have this one. It's kind of got like a, I don't want to count those. I want to say octagon and somebody's going to go octagons have eight sides. And this clearly is some kind of, blah, 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 blah. it's a thing. Okay. But it's a milk glass vase. And then I picked this up and it is, uh, o Omido chief, Alex Omido regent tennis racket. So it was $8 and 50 cents has the Wilson's little trying trapezoid thing on it. Hey, I got that one, right? Experts trapezoid on it to protect it. And this was $8 and 50 cents. And I went online and they're going for anywhere from 40 to 80. I'll have to see what it's sold for, but that's what people were asking for this racket. Honestly, uh, it's a really good condition wooden tennis racket. I mean, all of these are still in good shape. You can still play with this thing. This bad boy's in good shape. So I had a request. Okay, I know you're new. And I I knew your name, I swear. Um, wants to see me do uh, spray paint on shirts thing. And I didn't have any shirts to do that with. So I picked these up. So this one, actually, I thought I was gonna hit. It's Faded Glory $3. Just a plain white one. I thought I would have to give that one up to the one over here who's hiding back here. And then I got an orange one to do, um, and this is pink tag, so this was half off, $1.50 then, to do sort of a Halloween-y thing. And speaking of Halloweenies, had the black one, and that was half off $3.50. So that was $1.75. Um, it's got this thing. Victoria doesn't like this. She says that's not cute, but I think when we do our project, it won't matter. I mean, I'll probably get donated back to the thrift store after I'm done creating the project. So, or maybe I'll give it away. You guys can have it. And the next thing I went was garage selling. And I picked up just clothes for that one. She's going to do a fashion show for you. And there's my wet dog. Wet dog! Mega! Okay, there's the first one. This is an orange shirt I also thought I was gonna do a project on, but she fell in love with it. Tell us why you like this. I just like the color. And I was looking for a shirt like this so I could like tie like a little knot here. And it'd be so cute. Okay, so this one, she informs me is pink and not orange. It's bright pink. I thought it was orange. 
but it says split split rock lighthouse on it it's just a polar fleece jacket it's a really nice one so that one i think was three dollars very cute and in good shape tell me victoria do you like that coat i love it and i told them you'd love it because i think it looks like a sofa pattern but you look really cute in it looks adorable fits you great look how cute you are so this one she loves it's her favorite one i love it so much why it's baggy it's white <laughs> so that's the columbia jacket the lady was thought it was going to be ten dollars and i didn't say anything i just said well it doesn't have a price on it and then when i was checking out she goes if you want this i'll sell it to you for five so i got it for five i like this pocket because i can leave a little crack open and i could put my headphones in and i could put my phone here put your phone in there perfect nice well there was squealing involved with this one so i think i picked a good one margo's <laughs> even excited for her margo <laughs> Calm down. Okay, what do you like about this one? I just love the color and it's cropped and it goes great with these these pants. These black pants. They're shorts, but okay. They're not shorts. Yeah, they are. Shorts are up here. Just shorts. Yeah, well, they're shorts. They're above the leg, above the knee. They're shorts. shorts. State of hockey. <laughs> this is my wild girl. You like the wild shirt? Yes. I it's love perfect it. on you. That's really what do you cute. Want? And the hat too. We got the hat too. It's one of the vintage inspired wild gear hats and then the old style girl jersey sweatshirt things. Very cute. So this is the second thrift store. And remember I said their vintage game was strong. Totally worth going to. So this old doorknob has seen better days. It was $2.50. It's going to get made into a coat hook. You've seen me do that with the glass knobs. So this will end up being a, a single hook. And speaking of milk glass, no, I don't have a thing to check it for glowing. They had this. And remember I said pink tags were 50% off. So the second store was the same chain and their pink tags were 50% off. $3.50 on this bad boy. So I got it for $1.75. I got to do math in my head. So I found some new old stock. Baby spoon. Baby spoon. That's it. So new old stock baby spoons. Um, I don't know when they're from, but they do not have a barcode on any of these. So I'll have to be doing some research. Uh, uh, love this. So a full, uh, new old stock. Very cool. Stainless steel baby spoons. Very nice. So one of the stores in town probably went out of business. Oh, let me show you this because I said I was going to be, you know, careful with it. Farm implements are always a good thing to have at Junk Bonanza and pick it. $6.50 for this wicked looking number. It's a hay fork. Somebody will correct me. It doesn't have its handle, obviously. Pitch it's fork. a... It's a pitchfork. Didn't know I was gonna be corrected that soon, but there you go. <laughs> is it a pitchfork or is it a hay fork? The, this little number, $8.75, and guess what? It works. So I had one of these, we've made it into a lamp. It was turquoise blue or baby blue. It's going to Junk Bonanza. So I don't know if the OG wants to take this one and make it into a lamp as well. These motors that are in here, super duper heavy. Um, but it'd be kind of cool as another lamp. So I'll have two if you don't like blue. And then I was just, you know, smalls. So this says Scandinavian tea strainer, no drip. It was $1. Um, East Lake Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota, main tool and manufacturing co. But it's an old tea strainer. Very cool. So that'll go in my smalls. Remember I said I was going to do the, the four-tiered thing of smalls. So this will be in those. Okay. Hey, you see the... Okay, no, wait, wait. This is going to be my last one. I'm saving that last glass number. But, okay. So this is the American Family 25-pound um, scale. I picked it up 
for $16.50. This is, I'm probably gonna ask like $40 for it, but I think I can get about $70 online for it. This clearly needs to be reset, but I have to get some WD on it. Make sure it starts moving freely. Okay, and then the last thing. I seriously stood in that aisle for a while debating over this one. But then I finally just went, just get it. Hospital booze, 1978. I don't know what it's selling for. I just finally made a decision and grabbed it. And that's everything. So thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junkin' shirts, you can be in there. Ah, happy junkin' shirts. Don't forget to click the links below. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? We do stuff like this all the time. And if you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, I'm going to pop the P.O. box or anything else you want to send me. The P.O. box up there, and I will also link it in the descriptions below. And thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.